Imagine spending 12 hours editing a video when you could have had it done in just one click. That's what Sebastian's Night SaaS tool does, and they've managed to grow this to $500,000 in annual reoccurring revenue. So in this video, you'll be learning of Sebastian's story, how the idea to this product came from them, how they grew the product, the tech stack they used to actually run the product, and some amazing advice on how to actually grow a SaaS and pick a niche. I think you'll also really like Sebastian's simple churn hack, so make sure you stay until the end here. So before we dive into this story, let's take a look at one take. And so essentially it lets you never shoot more than one take for a video ever again. One takes autonomous intelligence video editing is going to do all the work for you. So where did this all start? Two years ago, Sebastian was running a seven figure training business and they saw how tedious it was to create tons of video content. And so they set out to build a tool to solve this problem. By 2022, they had a MVP for this. And in their first year, they managed to grow to $10,000 in monthly recurring revenue. But then in 2023, they skyrocketed, which the rise of ChatGPT that captured people's attention with AI. They went from 10K to 40K in recurring revenue on a monthly basis. And so Sebastian's focus is to differentiate themselves in the AI space. So contrary to pretty much everybody else who's talking about generative fields, talking avatars, their work is purely transformative. They're taking real life recordings, editing them and translating them to make higher quality content. And they believe this is the solid long-term choice. So rather than just riding the AI wave, they believe this is something people are always going to need. So in terms of the tech stack for this product, the back end is Node.js, MongoDB, and everything is on DigitalOcean. For the front end, it's React and Material UI, and they use the minimal UI template. And for the AI, they initially prototyped all the features by assembling or repurposing open source code or external APIs. For example, they premiered their one take chat feature by using the retrieval assisted generation system from Baseplate plus the open AI API. And so they got these to all work together to build what they needed at launch. So how did Sebastian know what to build? Apart from having this idea from their own problem, they actually went and talked to people. They have a chat widget on their site. And they've never used AI for it. They also sell on a lot of live webinars and live online challenges. And the vast majority of paid customers come from there. And let's let them learn exactly what their customers are looking for. I think that's something that's really underrated, especially in the tech space. As it's so easy just to work behind a computer screen, build an amazing product and hope people are going to come. But you're never gonna know what they actually want unless you go and speak to them. You find out what their problems are and finding out what they would actually use a potential tool for. Sebastian has some great advice as well on how to pick your niche. The first part of this is to pick a project that you're built for, something that matches your strength, weaknesses and passion, motivation and ambitions. Next is pick a business model and execution that has momentum. So choose an industry that's on fire or selling a product or service that people are already spending money on, as well as having a strategy that's already proven, highly leveraged, sustainable and easy. So this is like picking a boulder that rolls easily and it's just gonna make your overall process so much easier. Lastly, it's try to be at the right place at the right time. Each market and industry has its perfect moment in time and you wanted to get started in one of those. So you focus on where's the growth, where it will be in 10 years, and this is gonna make launching and running a SaaS so much easier. Next, let's cover Sebastian's simple churn hack. As churn was one of their biggest concerns when they started, and at the beginning, they budgeted for around 20% month over month churn, which is extremely high, but not unusual for SaaS products at the beginning. In the early months, they managed to get this down to 15%, and it's actually around 5% now. And LTV went from $717 to over $2,000 and the average retention is actually 20 months long. And in terms of how they actually decreased retention, they focused on creating a really strong onboarding flow. They realized if a new user onboards and publishes their first project within 30 days, they're going to upgrade their account to unlimited as people who upload content tend to stick around much longer. And as a result, 77% of users create and publish their first video project within 30 days of subscribing. Sebastian also has some great advice on how to charge. And that's to charge from the beginning. In the startup and indie world, there's a huge belief that the easiest and fastest way to get started is to offer the product for free. And so Sebastian thinks this is a convenient excuse to be scared of charging your value and a recipe for failure. And Sebastian started with two people prepaying for their software three months before the MVP was open. As according to Sebastian, it's not hard to sell two people on a dream solution to their current problems. 
and it's definitely not harder than getting say 20 random people to give it a try for free but those two paying customers will give you just as much probably more relevant feedback rather than just people looking for a free product sebastian also recommends not doing the freemium model as that's more of a late stage strategy for SaaS products as when you're getting started you're going to need cash and you're going to need feedback from people who have pulled out their credit card and are actually paying for their product and for more than a year sebastian ignored everybody who complained that didn't have a free trial if you've gotten this far in the video i'm sure you want to go build your own micro SaaS. But first, you'll need an idea, and that's where I have you covered with free micro SaaS ideas. You can get them for free. There's a link in the description below. All you need to do is enter in your email. I also have a complete course on how to build your very own micro SaaS from end to end as well, even if you don't have any SaaS experience. There's a link to this in the description as well, and it comes with a 90-day money-back guarantee, so make sure you check that out. So overall, Sebastian has an amazing journey, how they got from zero to $500,000 in annual recurring revenue. And it's definitely a product that looks to continue to grow. I'll leave a link in the description below to the original article written by James Fleischman. But if you enjoyed this video, I would love it so much if you smash that like and subscribe button below. If you have any questions or suggestions for other videos, leave that in the comments. I also have tons of other SaaS stories on my channel, so you don't wanna miss out on those as you get to learn from experienced SaaS founders. So make sure you click the channel icon below this video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.